Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. So basically, I'm in a situation right now. My car is stuck at the Home Depot. And uh, I, was, I, was, I was in the Home Depot for about 45 minutes, came back to my car, and my car is not starting. It's not cranking. I don't hear anything. But um, funny situation is, well, funny thing is, um, everything seems to work. Um, all the lights work. The radio works. Um, the blow motor works. I'm not getting AC, but everything works um, except the car is not running. It's not turning on. So um, I'm in a situation here where uh, I'm thinking it's the starter, but uh, I'm still trying to diagnose this. So basically, the first thing I did was I went out and uh, turn on the headlights just to see whether the battery, it was the battery or not. Um, it wasn't the battery. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's not the alternator. I know it's not the alternator because um, about 15 minutes ago, somebody tried to jump it and normally I know if it's the alternator, um, the car would have turned on and then as soon as he took the cables off, the car would have turned off. And if it was the battery, this car would have, you know, it would have, it would have jumped this car. This car would have cranked over. It would have cranked, hurt something. It would have, it would turn on. But um, at this point, I'm pretty sure it's neither the battery nor the alternator. So I didn't think it was going to be the starter. I mean, I don't didn't suspect that it was it was the starter. But at this point, I'm thinking it's the starter. I did change the starter about six months ago. Put in a, a rebuild starter. And uh, I, I'm surprised this situation came up because I didn't have previous issues with this car from the point I put in that starter six months ago to now. So I, I got to think, you know, um, maybe it could be a fuse or um, a relay. But here's the thing. Every time I turn a turn the, turn the keys, um, uh, the car does... Uh, I do hear it click. There's a noise coming from from the solenoid. I can hear it in my car when I when I try to turn it on. Um, um, I could hear I could hear the uh, a click. So basically, at that point, I know it's probably not the relay because um, if it was the relay, um, it I would. I, I wouldn't be able to hear the click, and, and the click is the click, it, it's, it's a click that's coming from the solenoid. You know, it's coming from the solenoid, and if it's coming from the solenoid, I, it means that there's power going to uh, the solenoid, there's power going to the starter itself, but uh, it's just not kicking over. Uh, it's not, it's not, the motor is not running. So basically at this point, um, there's maybe like one last thing, which is the fuse. But um, all the experiences I've had with blown fuses that cause this car not to start, um, there's normally two two things that would cause that. Either um, either you get a blown fuse and nothing in the car works. There's no, nothing on the dash. Radio doesn't work. Nothing works. It's as if there was no battery in the car or, or the battery was uh, completely dead. Um, that's not the situation here because I'm getting all the lights on the dash working and everything else working. So the other thing I could think of is, well, the other situation with the fuse is, um, I've had situations with blown fuse where the car would crank, but it won't, you know, it won't crank over. It'll, it'll crank, it might stay on for a second, and then it'll die out. It's not a situation here because... It's not cracking at all, so I don't think it's the fuse. Um, I don't think it's the fuse at all. Um, so at this point, I guess my last test would be to go out and bump the starter, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to take a crowbar because I don't have a crowbar to uh, hit the starter and then try to start it. Um, I'm going to guess at this point that it is the starter that that's the issue. Um, I did call AAA about. I called AAA. Um, and uh, they're gonna come and pick up my car and tow it home. 
so that I could change out the starter. I mean, I'm not going to do any more tests on it because I've had previous experiences with starter issues and um, and I'm like 99.999% sure that it is a starter that's causing the issue on this car. All right, guys. Um, all right, guys. Um, I'm going to wait for the tow truck. Uh, stay tuned. Hey, guys. How's it going? So I did change out the starter. Um, didn't didn't uh, knock on it, didn't uh, hit the starter to uh, test that out, but I did change it, and guess what? The car starts up immediately. Um, these rebuild starters, um, if you guys don't know any about rebuild starters, I mean, I bought it rebuilt six months ago. I had it put in, but um, these rebuild starters, um, I mean, I did replace it with rebuild, another rebuild starter, but um, I mean, the reason, only reason I did that was because the, the new starter is, like, very expensive. It's like twice as much as um, a rebuilt one and if I had a choice I would have gone on eBay and ordered an OEM used one but um, I had no choice it's my only car I need I needed to um, get it running as soon as possible so I got the rebuilt one again hopefully it doesn't last me a lot longer hopefully but um, yeah it was a starter um, alright guys take care